Don't you ever get the feeling that China are aware of something the rest of the world don't know about? The Industrial Revolution in China is still very much in progress. Within the past 50 years or so, they have went from a centrally planned closed economy to the second largest economy and will be the biggest economy on the planet within 20 years. They have risen out of the ashes in the late 20th century and now dominate Asia as the top major superpower in the region with huge global influence. So when we say, don't you get the feeling China knows something we don't, that is literal. They have even went as far as to lift three quarters of its population out of a state of poverty and they branch out into every country in the world. Chinese people are everywhere. There are 81 million Chinese people living outside China and that only accounts for 6% of the total number of Chinese. Have you ever heard the expression of why are there so many Chinese? Because they were here first, on earth that is. Anyway guys, we wanted to tell you about the famous Dropa stones, said to be at the very least 12,000 years old. They have hieroglyphic inscriptions that can only be read under a microscope and these enigmatic discs are one of the weirdest things ever discovered on earth concerning alien visitation. Wait till you hear this. Is it possible that China has deciphered ancient knowledge as their rise continues in modern times? A Chinese archaeologist discovered these stones right around 1930 near inaccessible mountains very close to the then independent nation of Tibet. They were found in a system of artificially carved tunnels and pantries that are said to have been home to a very small group of beings that grew to around four foot tall with heads larger than the average human today. There was mass scattering of bones of these tiny beings that have been kept under lock and key by the Chinese since the communist revolution of 1949. As the archeologists excavated the site with students from Peking University, they began to come across these Dropa stones. In fact, it is thought they discovered close to 800 of these things which all had holes in their centers. The walls of the cave system were adorned with carvings of the rising sun, the moon, stars, the earth, mountains, and dotted lines linking the earth with the sky, suggesting that this site is in fact a crash site of extraterrestrial beings who got stranded in this region in the very distant past at least 12,000 years ago. Who were these mysterious beings? What were the enigmatic disc? And where did the star maps carved on the cave walls lead to? The disc were examined by Dr. Sum Um Nu in Beijing around 1958, who concluded that each groove consisted of a set of tiny hieroglyphs of unknown origin. According to the doctor, one of the hieroglyphic lines read, the Drapa came down from the clouds in their aircraft. Our men, women, and children hid in the cave ten times before sunrise. When at last they understood the sign language of the Drapas, they realized that the newcomers had peaceful intentions. Another section reads regret of the inhabitants of the mountain because the aliens had crashed their ship and could not build another to return to their planet. They knew their existence was doomed and therefore they wrote down their story for others to read. They wanted to tell us who they were and what brought them here. They left a message for future generations, but the alien artifacts they left behind were hidden from the public. Physically, the granite stones were a very hard stone indeed. It would have made it impossible for the primitive people to carve the lettering, especially with such minute characters only being visible under a lens. When testing a Dropa disc with an oscillograph, a surprising oscillation rhythm was recorded as if they had once been electrically charged or had functioned as electrical conductors. Have any of the Dropa people survived? At the time of the discovery, the cave area was still inhabited by two tribes known as the Kams and the Dropas, 
both extremely odd in appearance. Experts have been unable to categorize either tribe into any other known race, as they are neither Chinese, Mongol, nor Tibetan. Said to have yellow skin very reminiscent to the founding father of the whole of China, one of the first emperors, the Yellow Emperor, ancient Chinese records talks of a very special being described as a god-like king, a son of the heavens. He is credited with having invented Chinese medicine, various religious practices, including worship of the sun, moon, and five planets, and technological inventions like the compass and calendar. It was believed that he lived in the Kunlun Mountains, which are in the heart of Tibet, close to where the Dropa stones were discovered. It is also said that his wife was a woman from the skies. Now, isn't it strange that this emperor has relations to this area and similarities to the people that lived there? It is possible you have to wonder that Chinese people are descendant from a completely separate group of beings who just happened to crash land on Earth and the emperors were a direct line from this event. Is 12,000 years enough time for the numbers to get to 1 billion? Who knows, guys? Perhaps the Chinese government is aware of this today. And this is the reason there is so much being hidden in China from the rest of the world in terms of the ancient history surrounding the Chinese people. As for the Dropa Stones, no one knows where they are now, apart from being in China somewhere. They are part of ancient history that China does not want the rest of the world to know about. Why do you think this is, you have to wonder? What do you guys think of this anyway? Comments below, and thank you for watching.